the most difficult and the most easiest cases to handle in nutrition is the gut the most difficult because sometimes the condition doesn't rectify itself because it could be genetics or it could be diet you need to understand that diet can go in and slap your entire alimentary canal or the gastrointestinal system everything from the pancreas to the liver to the small intestine to the large intestine to colon cancers all get affected uh, via your diet but of late we are seeing a lot more cases of people who actually eat very clean but they do have issues with everything from irritable bowel syndrome to crohn's to ulcerative colitis etc etc now the gastrointestinal gene report for me is an eye opener not because we have designed the genetic linkages to the disease but because the medical science is now telling us the nutritionists hey hang on could irritable bowel syndrome be not driven by your diet but be driven by your born genetics so the coding that you received from your mother and father could be defaulted by the way in my family a huge number of us had hemorrhoids as an issue and when i had it and i'm sharing this with you publicly i had to get it surgically treated now hemorrhoids is a bleeding in your stools now when i told my mom about it she said yes even me i have it and then before i long i did my own sherlock homes with my entire family and lo and behold 90% of all my uncles aunties and cousins were having this problem but but nobody talks about the gut so it's genetic it's genetic because all of us are living in different parts of the world eating different parts of food some of us are health freaks like me who are very very conscious about nutrition but some of us are not but everyone has the same problem so the message that i'm trying to communicate to you is that the gastrogenetic test that you do is a once in a lifetime can be done at any age by the way i have 5 year old and 7 year olds with sensitive guts this is something you may want to do even gallstones there's a whole community of marwadis that have gallstones because they are born with this genetic gene that doesn't code well for cholesterol clearance and therefore they get more gallstones it's in the report in terms of whether you have this gene or not so i'm now advising every one of my clients from north india please do this test in fact the first question i asked them is from what's your culture like why do you know what what culture we are from because please understand for centuries in our country people have been marrying within the same community within the same villages within the same area of influence as a result if there is a genetic issue it gets compounded by being in the same communities so by doing the nutrition gene report you can understand why a lot of people in your family are having crohn's ulcerative colitis hla b27 gene so many things that are out there i discovered i had a hemochromatosis gene which is an iron overload gene got nothing to do with the gut but if i take more amount of iron it affects my liver which causes fatty liver so it's not the fat in my body or the diet but it's taking more amount of iron i would have never come to know this condition from a blood test so a blood test gives you current levels for a genetic test is a crystal ball gazing into your future you need to do it only once if you're 90 years old i had a client who came to me and said i want to do this test and i'm thinking in my head okay i am thinking as a medical practitioner guy is 90 years old why does he need to do the genetic test not as to the blood test let's do the microbiome test you say like, no i want to know because there is latest research coming out that meditation can actually influence your genes so epigenetics meditation affects the uh, the environment on your genetics so if somebody has a problem with an irritable bowel syndrome or a gut or a crohn could we use powerful techniques such as sleep and meditation as an alternate source of medicine to treatment therapies the ball is in your court the food is in your court the genetics is already encoded in you all you need to do is give us a saliva sample and how accurate are these reports i've been doing this for 15 years i'm 48 years of age and i've been successfully running quadrantrition for the last 13 years where more than 70 of the best dietitians on the planet practice our job is to change the way you eat our job is to convince you that this is the most expensive real estate that you will ever own your body and this investment unlike your house car mobile phones everything
everything can be changed but you can't change your digestive system you can't change your body so get crystal ball gazing come to the gut astrologer that is the dietitian that is the nutritionist and let's figure out your future together where you're smiling because ultimately you're happy in the brain when your gut is good and if you're smiling right now you know exactly what i mean